Hi Aquarius, welcome to your No Contact Love Tarot reading for June. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Aquarius, we're going to take a look at your person. This is a No Contact Love Tarot reading, so we're taking a look at the energy of whoever you're thinking about, whoever is on your mind at this time that you are either in no contact or communication with. And we're going to see what's going on in their energy, what's going on with them. And uh, take a look, see if we can find out how they're thinking, how they're feeling, and what's going on with them, Aquarius. All right, what do we have so far? So we have here self-expression, vocalization, individuality, inner voice, assertiveness. So we have 32, which is five. Five is all about challenges, change. So maybe this person never really knew how to express themselves or express how they were feeling especially when it came to matters of love, but something could be changing here. And we have crown chakra. So I have 43, seven. Seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. And this crown chakra is like the, um, well, it's not the highest, but it's above the third eye. It's the top of the head. So it's being very, very divinely connected. Uh, intuition, higher knowing, uh, gut feeling, trusting in the universe, and connecting with spirit, angels, whatever it is here. So your person maybe went through a spiritual awakening here. Maybe they're getting ready to uh, come forward and express themselves. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see where this is going, Aquarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. All right. And you definitely can switch energies around if you feel like some of it is your energy. You definitely can do that. All right. And the cards you see me placing on the side over there, those are for your extended reading. So if this does resonate for you and you would like to go to the extended reading, you can find all that information down below, as well as everything you need to know about me and this channel. All right, Aquarius. What is going on with Aquarius's person? at this time, all right, of no contact or communication or whatever your situation is where you're just maybe not speaking for some reason at this time or not speaking about what needs to be spoken about. So we have here at seven of spring, be assertive, believe in yourself and don't let anyone take away your personal power. Trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely. So this is a seven of wands. I mean, to me, this can be about um, can be about standing up and fighting for something. It can be about you know being defensive and on guard. So let's see where this is going. The six of pentacles. Your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts, acquire wise loans, or receive a grant or scholarship in return for heaven's blessings. Be sure to share the wealth with others through donations of time or money to reputable uh, charity. So what I'm getting here, um, you know, the Six of Pentacles is all about balance. It's like the minor of the Justice card to me. You know, they may, maybe there's people interfering here with the Seven of Wands and they're needing to stand up and fight for themselves in this connection to bring in the balance here. Or it could be, you know, uh, again, take these messages or energies, how they resonate for you, they're really uh, trusting their intuition, higher knowing here, and finally learning how to uh, balance out their energies and how to express themselves. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, okay, that was just about what flying everywhere. Look at that justice, that's why. And I just said this is the minor, like the minor of justice, and that's kind of what just flew out at me, but we didn't ask yet, so let's see here. For Aquarius, what is going on with their person of interest? Now, this is someone you don't want back, an ex, or someone you're not interested in. This is probably not your reading. This is someone that you probably want to get back with, or you want at least some sort of communication, or whatever that is for you. But if this is someone you're not interested in, then it may or may not be your reading. All right, Aquarius. What is going on? Okay. Oh, let's see here. Wow. Oh, my God. I think your person's going to come in unexpectedly and kind of like all disheveled. That's, yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling. We have the Ace of Cups here. Brand new beginning in love or love renewal. 
Five of Wands, and there's that conflict. So there could have been a uh, conflict around them or someone who didn't agree with what they're doing or this connection or you or s just people meddling. But I'm kind of seeing this one here, like standing up, fighting above all others to get to this Ace of Cups. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, solid offer for the new beginning, long-term energy, and happening and rushing in quickly here with the Chariot energy, Cancer energy, drive, ambition, balance, successful movement forward. Could be travel or distance between you, but what I'm feeling like is they're going to come rushing in here with this Ace of Cups, this Ace of Pentacles, but with this Five of Wands also coming in kind of disheveled, like frantic, like out of the blue, like all over the place. That's kind of what I feel like. They, well, they want or they want to do this. They're thinking about doing this. Obviously, there's no contact right now. This is probably what's in their head. All right, what else? I feel like, you know, maybe they're wanting to come forward. Maybe they're wanting, you know, it could be somebody holding them back. Maybe it's a crazy ex. Maybe it's family, friends, I don't know, work, whatever the situation is. And then we have the six of wands. We have five, six of wands. Progression, two aces, the chariot. We have the offer on the uh, the wreath on the uh, wand here. Success, victory. Wanting to come in with an offer, but they're holding back. Four of coins energy here. And there's the ace of wands. Uh, you know, <laughs> fiery, passionate, new beginning. That's what they want. But there's some sort of heartache and pain. It could be an ex that's holding them back. For some reason, Knight of Wands under the Two of Cups, Soulmate Union right there. Could be a crazy ex for some reason. It's kind of uh, keeping them at bay, causing conflict in their life. It's I just heard crazy ex is keeping them separated from you. So this could be that Seven of Wands energy. It's like they know, they're trusting their intuition, higher knowing. They can feel it, that you guys are meant to be together. And maybe they've never said anything. Maybe they've never told anyone. And now it's like, you know what? I'm fighting everything and everyone. I'm ready to express myself. I'm trusting in this. I want to bring in balance. Wow. What else here for Aquarius' this person? What's going on with them at this time? Okay. Ten of Coins. Wow. They have the Ace of Coins that go to the Ten of Coins. So they're really thinking about this long term, how this real, you know, connection could go long term. So they're really fantasizing about that. Page of Cups, Love Offers, Apologies, Water Energy, Nine of Wands. About perseverance, not giving up, being the wounded warrior. And like praying, meditating, like I hope my Aquarius will accept my offer. And the offer is right there. Because they really can see this, like, they could see themselves spending the rest of their lives with you. Justice. So here it is again. Libra energy. Truth. You know, maybe they, you know, just recently got divorced or they're going through a divorce and they're divorcing somebody who's kind of like crazy. Or if they are divorced, it's like the crazy ex that just won't let them be. A lot of conflict. If it's a divorce, a lot of conflict or separation revolving around that. Seven of Cups. So there's still confusion here. Like they're not sure. Two of Coins are definitely trying to balance out their energies. High Priestess during this time of no communication. Yeah, Pisces energy there. But they're wanting to communicate. Maybe legally they can't. The Empress, they know who their true Empress is. It's not this crazy ex. This is Libra Taurus energy. The Wheel. They know this is fate and destiny. I had just said that. They want to build a new foundation, Three of Pentacles. Wow, but they're overwhelmed and burdened right now by this whole situation. So I just saw the Ten of Wands, then we would have the Nine and the Ten of Wands. All right, they're ready for something new. The Empress is all about new, new, new. What else here? This is resonating for you, Aquarius. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how this resonates for you. In the extended, we are going to look at uh, future energies, future energies of the connection, what they really want from you and the connection moving forward, how they truly feel 
about you. We'll get advice and guidance for you. Time frame, maybe they may come back or reach out. We'll get um, Divine Masculine by Bridget Rowe here. I pull a bunch of these for you. Oracles and letter tiles. All right. What else do we need? And again, all that information is below. Queen of Cups. So this is a lot of love here. Cancer energy. A lot of love here. But there's a devil person here holding them back. Capricorn energy. Or maybe it's a water sign. Seven of Swords. Yeah, Seven of Swords with the devil. They could be dealing with someone who's like conniving, deceiving, um, like doing tricky things, making up lies, or purposely doing things to keep them separated from you. Like on purpose, like to get their attention away from you. I, I see like this devil like plotting like their next move. And the hand is up and this is the love and the hand is up like, nope, <laughs> nope, you're not going to go after that. Queen of Cups energy. You could have a lot of water in your chart. Queen of Coins. So this could be Capricorn energy. So here's the two energies. And here's that third eye. So they have the crown chakra and this here has the third eye, which I feel like is like more your energy. So you're almost at the same level. And this is, you know, a stable, loyal, grounded partner. And this also could reiterate that maybe perhaps they were married, divorced, a lot of conflict, fighting. King, queen of co uh, coins, pentacles is usually married. The fool, yeah, they're wiping the slate clean. They want a fresh start, start over. They want to take a leap of faith. Aquarius, that's you. This is Aquarius for me. Are you dealing with another Aquarius? What else here? The sun. Soulmate, twin flame energy. Happiest card in the deck. Leo energy. Happiness, joy, expansion, growth, enlightenment, healing. Abundance. Happy home and family, children. Soulmate, twin flame. The hangman. Yeah, they're hung up right now. Pisces, they could be dealing with the water sign. But they're becoming single. Nine of Pentacles energy. Let's see what's on the bottom. Two of Coins. Really, really trying to balance out their energies here. But again, they feel like it's fate and destiny. We had this on the bottom not too long ago. But they're not, you know, there's a lot of sadness and loss around the whole situation. Yeah, it's over. Death. Scorpio energy here. Whatever that was, you know, it's still a sad time. Even if it's over, a lot of heartache and pain. But we have a matching couple here at the King and Queen of Cups. You both can have a lot of water in your chart. This is Pisces to me. Divine counterparts. And again, wanting to communicate. Page of Wands. Wow. All right, let's see what these are. So we have Insight. We have Sound. Maybe somebody uh, plays a musical interest, uh, instrument. Three of Pentacles. And the two of pentacles. Wow, we got the two and the three of pentacles. Some sort of progression here. Wow. So I'm going to look more into this in the extended. Again, everything you need to know is down below. So if you like to go, I shall see you there. If not, best of luck to you. And I shall see you next time.